So how, how did you find this? <laughs> oh, we were walking, you know, we were talking about it. The lady hearing this, the, the sounds, and we were thinking about, you know, how it has to come this way then, you know. John and I was walking together, and then I, and I picked it up and I said, well, you know, it looks so much like a, a pebble. So, and he, and I looked, and I gave it him to look at it, and he said, oh no, it has cracked. And I said, no way, it can't be a meteor. Did you say you picked it up? Yes, I have picked it up. Get, you know, to me it's not very black. Because they don't, they're oh, from that they picked up. up. Well, that's my fault because I told her we're, we're leaving at 10. You're the There's owner no of the right property here. here. Uh, uh, I'm, the brother, I'm, I'm the brother, brother of the okay. owner. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm happy you guys found something. Good, good. Well, the, the, way, the way it works is we are uh, uh, forming a consortium of scientists that we are trying to, uh, that everybody interested in studying this particular meteorite, that I'm trying to get material to. And so uh, mm -hmm. we're following sort of the pattern as we had with a meteorite in Sudan, mm -hmm. where we had a really big find, but we had a small amount of material for analysis. So I was able to bring that back to the States and then uh, divvy that up. We formed a scienti scientist Just consortium. Just knowing we can find more. And then we figured among us, each other mm -hmm. uh, what would be the best to get the most information out of the material we had. Yeah. And so um, and that worked really well. And so we, the, the samples were went from one place to the other and <coughs> uh, data were combined. And, we ended up with a big special issue of uh, Metrotics and Planetary Science that really told an incredible story wow. about uh, what this asteroid came from, uh, what its okay. history was, uh, so what its composition was, what happened to it uh, over its lifetime and so on. So we're hoping that uh, this uh, meteorite will do the same. This is big enough to actually do a cosmic ray uh, analysis study. So we can uh, try and determine where this, when this material was uh, liberated from a bigger asteroid, and that tells us uh, mm -hmm. maybe where uh, no. where an asteroid belt is. Uh, this yeah. may have come from, and so, on. so that's that's information we're trying to get. Beautifully filled, oh, fully fused and crusted. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has it has been in the soil. You can mm -hmm. see it was on the on the bottom. It was in the soil, but uh, there's no cracks. It's really very nicely protected. Just one contraction crack. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this is very good news. It's just very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's about an inch, a little over an inch. Yeah. I need to collect some of this. Oh, okay. Excellent idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, few few people get the soil. So this, uh, yeah. this is the way to collect it. Huh? So if you find one, put it in aluminum foil, then even it's easy to handle, and then you keep it clean, and then collect some soil with it. So this comes really as a as a package. So, guys. All right. Yeah. Well, done. Mm. well I'm glad to be yeah. so so blatantly proven wrong about, <laughs> about this being out of the trend. Like congratulations, Peter. <laughs>